Hey Chevy, if you're if you ever watch this, um, do you remember when you used to make like real trucks? You know, steel bodies, fantastic front ends, you know, everything, and not that. Like, like what? What is this? Like, what happened between this, this, and this? Like, I'm I'm so freaking confused. How's it going today guys? Trucks and Water here and a lot of you have been anticipating my reaction to the release of the 2020 Chevy Silverado HD. Um, so as you kind of saw in the beginning of the trailer, um, you kind of guess my attitude is towards it and yeah, I do not like it whatsoever. Now spec wise on it, yeah, it still has the L5P Duramax. So, you know, 445-ish horsepower, 910 foot-pounds of torque, but they got a brand new 10-speed Allison made it up to it, which will be, I think it's going to be really good because you're going to get better fuel economy, you're going to have better gears, but at the same time, a 10-speed auto is very hard to tune for towing and stuff like that. I know they've done it in the semis, but there's a lot more that goes into making those good for towing and truck-wise than, say, like, an auto, like a car or a sports car or something like that. Other than that though, I do not like the body style. It looks like Ford and Toyota had a weird baby that didn't come, that didn't, I don't know. Like, it's a mixture of a Ford front end and a Toyota front end in my opinion. Um, with the big Chevy, like a Chevrolet name across the thing. Or if you go over the higher trim level, they have just the bow tie. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of the 1500s. Everybody knows that. I'm not a huge fan, and I don't think this is the route Chevy should go. My biggest thing is the freaking tow mirrors. They look, A, number one, in my opinion, they look ugly. Number two, they're attached to the door. They're not attached to, like, the pillar right here on, like, the normal trucks where you can interchange them out and stuff. I don't think you can change these out. Um, someone did a rendering. If I can find the picture, I'll, pu I'll put up in the video, where... You took the 2015 style mirrors and put them on it on the like the, the window part and lifted and put I think 20 by 12s on it and it made the truck look 10 times better. And then someone also made a rendering where they flipped the headlight assembly around where the headlights have been below the, the name letter in Chevrolet, it's on top with the marker lights below, and that looks 10 times better. I don't know if they're just trying to be something different to like stand out from um like Ford and Dodge, but I don't think this is the route they should be going. Um, I think the route they should have been going with was the 2016 to 18 style uh, Chevy 1500s. That style looks so daggum good in my opinion. I love that style, and it's such a shame they only had it out for two years before they nixed that with the 2019s, now the 2020s. Um, it's got a step side in it where you get steps to go in the back of the bed and stuff like that. Um, I, I'm really looking forward to what GMC is going to come out with because because they're they're probably going to look really really good the GMCs for some reason I just don't like the way this Chevy looks and some people do and I understand that's a part this is based on my opinion but I do not like the way this Chevy looks at all I just there's something about it that I just do not like and I don't think I ever will like it but um, that being said though like what are your all's opinions on the new Chevy Silverado 50 or 20 or the HD series comment them down below um make I, I like I say guys I just don't like it I really don't I just maybe it's the color too because they picked a weird like turquoise color to release it with um it's coming in a couple of trim packages you got the work truck you got the LT I think like a custom class or something I think they said an LTZ in high country um of course, you have different options, D71 off-road, blah, 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 all those options. Hopefully, they up the interiors on these trucks, too. I hope it's not like the 19s. I do not like the interiors on the 19s. To me, it'll look like a step back, then forward when I sat in one. Um, but that's just my opinion, again. Um, they're kind of the new V8 option that's not a diesel for these trucks. So I'm thinking it's probably a 6.2 liter variant um, for anyone who doesn't want a you know, diesel option. But anyways... That's just my opinion on it, guys. Thank you all so much for watching this quick little video on what I think of the new 2019s. Uh, if you like the video, leave a like. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Join the Trucks and Water family. We're constantly growing and changing and trying new and better things. All of you have a great day. And remember, never give up on your dreams.